LES Skate Park is probably New York's most intimidating skate park. For me, it's been great. I come in the morning, very few people here, a lot of fun, really noisy. But I know not everyone shares the same sentiment. If you have a different type of toy and you come to the skate park, people are a little more harsh. Take my friend John Reyes and Saki. Both of them on multiple occasions have been made fun of, have been told to leave, have been cursed out, have been snaked. According to them, scooters are just so used to this at this point that it doesn't phase them at all. So as an attempt to empathize, I am bringing my scooter to New York's toughest skate park. It feels cheesy to say tough. It's a good title though, okay. Take a mind, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it does feel a little odd to ride a scooter here. It really does. I feel like kind of outcasty. You know what, that's stupid. It's so fun, but there's so many tricks on a scooter that I want to learn and so many tricks on a skateboard that John Reyes wants to learn. But the main one for me is a heel whip. So I'm going to battle a heel whip. What'd you say? You can't have a pie without cool whip. <laughs> you heal whip even though that was disgusting i landed so sketchy but i did it it's funny because john and i are still pretty competitive so we still see people in skate parks and think i want to be better than those people and these people and we still do that and to get better at things you have to go on your own time and practice so yesterday for the first time in my life i went on a solo scooter mission yeah i only filmed the one trick but don't worry i also went out and learned a few tricks on my skateboard And John Reyes learns extremely fast because the experience translates way better than if he were just a skater who sat there all day watching videos on how to skate. The talent in all those extreme sports, including surfing and snowboarding, translates really well. Figuring out the concept of how to learn tricks is a lot more important than figuring out the specific trick. So as much as we love a spot like LES, it gets so packed so quickly that we'd rather have an empty skate park just to go as fast as we can and train as fast as we can, which is why we've been skating that one park so much. It's weird that skateboarding is such a social sport, but I spend so much time doing it isolated. I just, I love it. The truth is alone, it's way easier to produce a lot more content to work on your art more, but it makes a few things confusing, like working on a brand and trying to get models involved, which I think I found a loophole for. This is my first day shooting modeling photos, but I know the models really well, so I'm not that nervous. The models are actually just my doodles. They're just drawing guys that I made, and they're awesome. 
my, oh my A kiss and so I did so there's basically eight types of photos I want and I want all of them to represent New York City hopefully as a whole. So we're gonna go around today and we're gonna try to get some epic photos while maybe riding my skateboard a little bit. I think I have all the pictures I need. Right now I'm gonna go to this coffee shop, put them together, and then if I need more stuff, I'm already downtown, I can just go outside my, and execute. My, my, oh my, the kiss and so I did. That process is so fun for me. It only took a few hours to get a lot done, but if there's someone who works in my world really well, wow, there's a lot of productivity happening, obviously. Like John Ray's, I'll, I'll be social. And I hope you enjoyed another day in New York City. Your boy is out here sweating his balls off. If you're on Instagram, you know where I'm skating, and it's gonna be in a video in the future, so stay tuned for all the stuff to come. I'm posting like two or three times a week. Subscribe, all that good stuff. Dude, do dance, your faces. I love it so much. Progress daily, and keep going!